It's the middle of April here in southern Indiana. Field conditions are wet and getting wetter as I speak. But before we panic and rush tillage and burn down and planting in fields that are on the heavy side or you know just a little bit wet, let's stop and take a look at corn yield by planting date now versus early May or late May as compared to the yield penalty that we can take when we rush those operations and cause compaction by getting on fields before they're ready. Experience and research results both show that corn yields are optimized in southern Indiana when we can plant between mid-April and early May. As the season progresses and we get into later planting, we do tend to see decreased yield potential. And that's because of a number of factors like a shorter growing season, greater insect and disease pressure, and a higher risk of hot and dry conditions during pollination. So this all adds up to about three-tenths of a percent yield loss per day once we get past the beginning of May. And as we move into late May, it's about a 1% yield loss per day. However, planting date alone does not determine successful corn yields. As this chart from Bob Nielsen at Purdue University shows, depending on what the weather brings for the rest of the growing season, late planted corn this year could out yield early planted corn from another year. So now let's compare that potential yield loss from late planting that may or may not occur due to weather conditions later in the season to the potential yield loss from compaction. So what we see as we look at this chart, the yellow line is showing our yield losses and they really increase as we get later and later into May. And then our three horizontal lines are showing different outcomes from the same level of compaction. If we have a normal year with plenty of rainfall all the way through the growing season, we're looking at about five, 6% yield loss. However, in a severe drought year or even a year with normal rainfall, and a dry July stress during and following pollination, the yield impact of compaction can be 25 to even 50% of our total yield. So when we think about comparing mudding a crop in in late April or early May versus waiting until soil conditions improve, we really have to weigh that risk of what do we think it's going to be like during July? Are we going to be dry and, and limited root growth is really going to hurt us or not? If we stop and think about it, I think it makes sense. We've all encountered those fields that were worked to air them out when they were a little bit heavy. And we go and, and dig roots later in the season and we can see where they flattened out and, and pancaked. And ultimately that limits nutrient and moisture absorption when they can't get down and go deeper. Another example would be sidewall compaction, where we see a lot of roots growing right in the seed slot and not able to move um, horizontally out of that seed trench because we planted when it was too wet. And that's also going to limit early season nutrient uptake. So ideally, we would avoid any field operations when soil conditions are too wet. If you can grab that top two to three inches of soil and squeeze it and make a ball and drop it on the ground and that's still intact, um, the soil is really too wet to be working uh, without causing some compaction. If you have questions about your specific fields, how to avoid compaction, uh, how to alleviate damage done, or just, just want to talk about it further, we'll have a couple resources listed, or you can feel free to contact myself or the rest of your Pioneer sales team. So I'm Dan Emmert. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Stay safe this spring. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.